Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. On today's video, we're going to be looking at 361's left front foot. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a sneak peek into next week's. But first, let's take a look at this left front foot on 361. Now, if you don't remember 361, she's from this video right here. The relief this cow felt was quite satisfying. And in that video, she had some heel bulb separation. We started to work on that. There was a white line defect that connected to that separation. With some time and a little bit of careful work, we were able to free that sole up. We glued a rubber block to that other claw, relieving all of the pressure from this claw, and then we finished trimming all the loose edges up from around it sprayed it down really well with some chlorhexidine, and then applied salicylic acid and gave it a wrap. After that, she was able to put weight back on that foot once again. Now we're back exactly 18 days later to see how it's recovered. And it appears like our work was successful. The sole has firmed up nicely. We won't know if it's completely healed though until we do some work tidying this up. Now, if you're wondering why I didn't remove all of this horn during that first trim, there's two primary reasons for that. Number one, if that block were to come off, I want to have some protection on that other claw just in case. So that's why I leave this area higher on that first trim. The other reason is I can do this removal now much more safely. At that time, that sole was very soft underneath. We were basically right at that corium level. It's a lot more dangerous to work in those conditions than it is right now. Now, I can really work at this with, without any risk of causing any damage. Now, you may be wondering, how sturdy can that sole actually be after just a couple of weeks? But you can see here, I can put some pretty significant pressure on that, trying to clean it up here without causing much of an issue at all. Now the sole is not thick enough to bear weight yet, that's going to need a couple more weeks, but it's healed up quite nicely. Being this hoof has healed up as nicely as it has, I can bring that wall horn level now down to the same level as that sole and create a nice uniform sole thickness all the way across that foot. So if you were to ask me what is an ideal result after just a couple of weeks of healing, this particular foot would be just that. It's got nice uniform sole all the way across this. That disturbance in that white line has cleaned up nicely. We don't have to worry about anything there. This foot is good to go. The only thing we need to have happen with this one is for that sole to get just a little bit thicker so it can bear full weight and we can pop that block off. As promised, next week's video, we're gonna be looking at this right here. You're not gonna to wanna to miss that. So hit that subscribe button. And as always guys, thanks for watching and we will see you all on the next one.